want to take us on a journey down memory lane. Memory for me, for some of my younger viewers, just follow me on this one. If you're old like me, you'll probably remember. Memory lane, like I said, it was 1998 during the FIFA World Cup in France. I was there as a journalist covering the World Cup for the BBC, covering African nations, but obviously, because you know where I am, as a Nigerian, I had more interest and focus on the Nigerian team. So I was part of the Nigerian team. Nigeria was flying at the time on the back of a fantastic triumph in the Olympic Games in 1996, winning gold. We were flying, doing very well, until recently African champions. And we got to the World Cup and we got through there and true to form, qualified for the round of 16, almost effortlessly, I should say. It was a good period. We had a game against Denmark in the round of 16, which will mean that winning Denmark takes us to the quarterfinal. And the quarterfinal was most likely going to be a juicy tie against Brazil. Now there's the excitement. Who doesn't want a game against Brazil? Nigeria Brazil was the highlight of the Olympic Games two years before when we beat them in the semi finals. So it was a juicy tie and everybody was looking forward to it. I had friends, journalists, friends, and even people within the Nigerian setup who were supposed to come to France who decided that they were not going to come to France yet because they wanted to wait until the Nigeria Brazil quarterfinal game. As journalists, and even the Nigerian team itself, I make bold to say, lost sight of the fact that there was a hurdle to cross before we played that game against Brazil. A small matter of that game against Denmark. We were all fixated on what was going to happen in the future. That game against Brazil, a quarterfinal game. And we seemed to have forgotten that we needed to navigate the game against Denmark first before that game. What happened? Nigeria was trounced 4-1 by Denmark. The dream to play Brazil or to get to the quarterfinals died there and then. And we all went back with our tails between our legs. The lesson there, focus. You know I come up with these words once every month and that will be my watchword for the month. And last month was patience. We've done objectivity, we've done accountability, we've done discipline. Focus is July. July is focus. Let us focus on what is in front of us, the very immediate hurdle that we need to cross and worry about the future later on. We all have our ultimate destination, but we can only get to the destination in kilometer 100 if we focus on kilometer one, navigate that one, two, and symmetrically that way, we will get to that hundred. Focus is the watchword. Focus is the one you need to do. And focus on yourself today so that you can get the results tomorrow that will suit you and that will make you successful. Need help? Sunday Talks, as I always say. Contact me. Leave your comments. Leave your feedback. Contact me directly. I've got this WhatsApp group. Wonderful one. And I tell you what, subscribe to me, please. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. I'm focusing on the fact that you're right there watching me and you will contact me. You focus on the future. Focus on the immediate future and the success and the wins will be yours ultimately. Thank you.